Ian, would you please give an overview of the planning that is taking place at Mecca for the new music integration program? Sure. Um, uh, we're really excited about the program, obviously, and um, made possible by the Bob Crew Foundation as the, the biggest gift in Mecca's history. And what we've done over the last year, uh, we had a community forum uh, this summer where we invited 24 um, academics, musicians, popular musicians, uh, people from the radio industry to talk about sort of their hopes and dreams for what the program might mean here uh, in Portland at Maine College of Art and in the region. And since then, uh, we've been doing two things. One, we've been doing a facilities planning for the curriculum. And uh, we had a, a curricular retreat about a month and a half ago to help us form the, the basic outcomes of the program, how we want the program to look moving forward. <clears throat> and then the plan is to launch, formally launch courses next fall, the fall of 2015. Um, and our goal is to have a minor in music. As far as we know, it'll be the first minor in music that is embedded inside of an art and design college. That, it isn't, um, that there's not a separate school for music. A lot of colleges have that. But we're hoping that our students were able to do a minor um, inside their art and design degree. There are so many young men and women that come to our school that have a passion for music, uh, and they consider that part of their aesthetic and artistic practice. Um, but they don't necessarily want to study, they don't want to go to music school, they want to go to art school. And uh, it's for those students that I think they're going to be, uh, I mean, they're going to be crazy about this program. Uh, it gives them a capacity to integrate their musical interests into their visual art if they want to, um, or if they, or if they uh, have a band, or they play an ensemble, or if they play jazz, uh, they have a way to integrate that in their studies while they're here. Um, so it's really for young men and women who, uh, who primary interest, they want to go to school to study visual art and design, but they also have this uh, passion for for music. Um, um, I was one of those uh, students myself. Um, I always say that if I was in high school and I'd heard about a place where I could study art but then also uh, do music, uh, you know, nothing would have stopped me from going there. Uh, so I think those are the types of people the program looks to serve. We're calling it the Bob Crew Program in Art and Music because there are so many students that want to use music in their art in ways in which they may never have thought of, um, in ways that some of them have, have tried, but this curriculum will help support that. Uh, if you talk to filmmakers, sound is 50% of film. In our sculpture department, we've taught Side of Sound, a class uh, that's about um, using sound as art for many years. Um, and of course, we have students that work in animation, and sound is a big part of animation. Can a student um, create a painting um, that's sonically based? Can you create a painting of sound? And these are sort of uh, you know, questions that we want our students to be able to um, sort of experiment with. What we believe is that this is going to be um, a really big project, a really big part of the school for years to come. Uh, we want to use the peninsula, we want to use Portland and Maine as, as part of our classroom as much as possible. Obviously, we, build, we have to build facilities here. That's what we promise to our students, that they can go down and, um, and, and do some recording or practice in a room or have instruction by our teachers. Our teachers. But as much as possible, uh, like in so many areas of the college, we want to use the uh, the city of Portland and the state of Maine is also our extended classroom. Um, so I've been reaching out to music educators, um, pop musicians, uh, recording engineers, um, trying to talk to anyone who wants to talk to us. I've talked to a lot of academics who've spent um, a good portion of their adult lives studying music and conservatory type models. And, and that's an amazing, uh, wonderful experience. But that's not what we're trying to build. We're trying to build something uh, different here. Um, where people from, uh, students um, from all sorts of different arenas interested in, in music and sound can find a way to um, enter and engage in this program and then over their four years of study, you know, end up at, at some other place. So if they came as a pop musician, maybe they end up becoming a sound or performance artist. You know, if they came in with um, jazz training, maybe they're doing improvisation to an animation soundtrack, which is probably something they've never even thought about doing. Um, so those are the types of experiments we're hoping that, 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 that students do. First and foremost, we're an art and design college. So when a student graduates from Mecca, they have a degree in one of our 11 majors. They have a degree either in the design area, the craft area, the fine arts field. Um, we have a program here called Artists at Work. 
And part of the purpose of that program is to enable each and every student to, to take what they've learned at Maine College of Art and to take that with them in the world so that they can have sort of control over their own destinies. We see the same thing with, um, with the music program as being part and parcel of that process. Um, you know, obviously some of those students may want music to be their profession. They may not have had the opportunity to study music and this may be their sort of gateway into doing formal study in that way. We know that other students um, already have a deep passion and already have a lot of expertise in music and want to use this to um, sort of keep their craft uh, robust, right? Um, and the minor, as we build out the minor like we do with every minor, it has its own set of professional outcomes that we want every student to have. So a basic set of skills that we would expect every student that graduates with a minor in music to have whether that's from having uh, basic uh, business uh, sensibility, you know, um, understanding sort of contracts, uh, understanding copyright and so forth. Um, but of course, all that stuff is in the service of their, their, their creative capacity, right? And uh, the most important thing for us at, at Maine College of Art is first and foremost to make sure we're graduating students that, have, uh, that are making the most incredible art, that are making the most incredible music that they're absolutely capable of. Uh, and then from there, we give them the professional skills to, to take that experience you know, out into the world.